Hello friends, this is Satvinder Bhatia from Sukhmani Immigration Services, Brampton, Canada. I'm a regulated and licensed Canadian immigration consultant. So today's video is very special because today express entry draw happened. What are the details? What is the complete analysis of this draw? I will share everything with you. Before that, request to you if you have not subscribed to the channel so far. Please consider subscribing. We talk a lot about Canadian immigration news, update, tips and tricks on this channel. If you like the video, share it with your family and friends so that they can also benefit. And of course, please watch the video till the very end. We do share important tips also on this. So let's get started. So today's video, you see a glass before actually starting with the video. Let's look at the picture. Today's video is showing a, a picture of a glass which is half filled, half empty or half full. It depends how you look at it. Half empty or half full is your viewpoint. The water in the glass is the same. Same is the case with the Canadian immigration. How you look at it makes difference. So the Canadian immigration is happening for so long, it will keep on happening, but it is the viewpoint, your viewpoint, which is important. If you have that positive viewpoint, things will fall in place. And believe me, positive viewpoint have a major, major role to play. So let's get started on today's video, 10th express entry draw, which happened this year. So 10th express entry draw of 2022. The draw number is 222, all two, triple two. Okay, so draw number 222. So let's get the information straight from the government website. Here is the government website and here is the information from the government website. So the same information I've presented in the highlight form for easy understanding. Let's have a look at this. So first of all, this draw is held today. Today only the draw came, which is 11th May 2022 Wednesday. And today only we are presenting this to you. So total number of candidates invited in this draw are 545. So please keep an eye. This number 545 is very important. Usually, this number is around 600, 700, 800, 900, sometimes even 1000. This is the lowest number in this entire year. So only 545 candidates are invited. So again, the third important part is only PNP. Again, this is a PNP draw. So all candidates who are invited had PNP nomination. So all PNP draw. CRS score for this, for the candidate who was last in this, the cutoff CRS score was 753. Now this CRS score decreased by 19 points as compared to the earlier draw. And tie-breaking rule applies is of December 15, 2021. So this is the date for the tie-breaking rule. Now let's look at Another important part, which is what is happening with FSW. There is no FSW, no federal skilled worker. You can see the number is zero. No Canadian experience class, number zero. Again, no federal skilled trade, zero. Everything happening is only for the, the PNP. That's all. So all 545, you can see, this is again from the government website, are all of them are PNP. All 545 are PNP. So it is very important to do your maths. Why? Because since all the candidates who are invited in this draw have the PNP nomination, a PNP nomination gives you 600 points. So every candidate who was invited in this draw had PNP nomination and had extra 600 points. If we delete those 600 points 
right so suppose 753 was a score of the candidate who was last and cut off and if i minus those pnp number 600 number so what i will get i will get 153 so a candidate who had a score of just 153 got a canadian immigration and i'm sure many of you who are watching will feel the pain because many of you have scored between 300 and 400 and you will say i had a score of 400 i didn't got a chance and he got a chance he had 153 he got a chance so it is almost like a similar situation right you have 90 percent marks you didn't got a seat in engineering college and somebody who has just 60 percent marks got a seat in the engineering college you will feel so bad so this is kind of similar situation with 153 score somebody got a canadian immigration and you are sitting there with having 300 to 400 crs points so you also need to do something so that your number also comes in this draw okay so that i leave it to you think about it let us do the analysis of the last 19 draws not one draw not two 19 so 19 express entry draws this is the government information right sometimes not easy to understand that is why i have brought the same information in the tab in the kind of a tabular or graphical form so you can understand better so if you see this information in a graphical form you can see that only one green bar is there that green bar is the only draw CAC draw which happened on September 14 2021 after September 14 2021 no other draw happened only PNP you see all the blue lines all the blue lines and the CRS score is hovering between 700 to 750 roughly that is the score which is it is hovering but the dark blue lines which shows that these are for this year light blue for previous year so all pnp out of 19 express entry draws 18 you can see in blue are pnp so for a long long time cec draw never not happened of course federal skilled worker draw has not happened federal skilled has not happened so we are all waiting and you know there are chances we'll very soon get to hear about this as per the input the minister's uh, latest information so now look at the crs distribution so understanding the distribution of a crs score in an express entry is also very important because one it tells you total number of candidate who are in the pool second it tells you where these candidates are it groups the candidates according to their crs scores so let us have a quick look and this information is the latest information as of may 9th latest just two days old so latest information as per may 9th total number of candidates in express entry pool are more than 200,000. So 206,000 candidates are there in express entry pool. And important thing to look at it is that people who are above 600 are only 600. So above 600 are only 600 people, that's all. So remaining people you see, maximum number of people are there in the category of 300 to 400. So if you need to go from 300 to 600 and above, so you know what to what route to take, right? So again, as I said, this is the latest information as per May 9th, 2022. Lastly, so you are in the express entry pool. So please try to understand, this is not a swimming pool. This is express entry pool. So you can't sit ideal. You, you, you have to do some work. There are number of tasks for you to do. And what are those tasks? Some of them I am highlighting here. First of all, you have provided Canadian government certain information. 
do you have the documents to back up that information if not please start collecting the documents all the documents whatever information you have provided to the canadian government it has to be backed up with proof by documents documents need to be authentic and also understandable readable so that is one thing which you need to do second thing language test whatever language test you have given selpip ielts tcf for french or tef whatever you have given they are usually valid for 2 years so check if your language test is valid if not you have to repeat it so that's also an important task for you police clearance certificate number 3 so this is very very important for people who have elaborate elaborate travel history so who have traveled to different countries lived over there for more than 6 months you need to have a police clearance certificate and it's not easy particularly during this covid time it is not easy to get a police clearance certificate so start working on it one more important thing you have been provided by the government a job validation code right you have the express entry id pool id and profile number right you have the profile id you have the job validation code that job validation code is for you to start looking for a job and put your job validation code and tell the employer that you are a eligible candidate and you can be chosen so you have government websites you have private website like workapolis like monster.ca start working on it if you get a job not only your settlement here in canada becomes easier but also it gives you the chance to come here because you will get extra crs points so very important finding a job in itself is a job it's a full time job to find a job is a full time job start working on it if you are not working on it so try to improve your score how can you improve the score i have in my previous videos i have told you i can quickly share with you one which you can do is you can get an extra um you know repeat the ielts you can do that if you you can encourage your spouse to go for eca to go for ielts exam you can learn french you can do extra qualification you can add your work experience all these things you can do to increase your crs score keep your profile updated you know try to make the up, uh, up to date information if you have not updated your profile please you can update your profile and make arrangement for settlement funds so everything said and done when you are almost like near to the finish line all you need is settlement funds and people get into a panic mode there why because they have never worked on it so settlement funds you cannot borrow it from someone and just show it you know no you have to it has to be gradually coming into your account so you have to show that it is gradually coming into your account it is shows that it is your earning so you have to work on it and show your account statements like that so that is very very important settlement funds and lastly one important thing which you can do is you can subscribe to our channel right we can provide you lot of information and If you need any further information you can reach out to our office our office is in Brampton and email IDs and phone numbers are shared here once again if you have not subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and thank you very much for watching the video thanks